Hi there, in this video we have a special guest. Hey guys, my name is Raf and I'm a web developer at EasyShip. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, I know that you put in a lot of effort into making sure that this dashboard looks amazing for all of our users. So with that being said, what are we looking at? So we're looking at the analytic dashboard page, which gives you a good overview of your shipping activity on EasyShip. Great, so when the users land on the page, they'll be able to see all of their shipments for the last 30 days, correct? Yes, and if you want to change that, you can click on the top right corner right here and change the time frame of your preference. Cool, so I noticed that when we first log in and we see the summary over here, there are the values of product shipped and the total cost. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, so the value of product shipped is actually uh, the sum of the customer's value declared per day, so which is basically your revenues. Then the blue line represents the total cost of shipping, which includes shipping costs, uh, taxes and duties, insurance, or any other costs like warehousing fees if applicable. Uh, you want to look at the difference between these two uh, curves because they basically represent what your revenues are compared to how much you're spending on shipping. Cool, so what else can we see in the summary section? So under this first graph, you can see a curve representing your volume of shipment paid per day. On the right side, you also have the totals of the entire period uh, selected, and you can also see an average cost per shipment. This is very useful if you want to make any projection for your business or have a rough idea how much you spend all the time and include it in your prices. So let's take a look at the sections below. So we have the top destinations, top solutions, and sales channels. Can you walk us through those? Yes, so the top destination represents your most shipped to countries in this ship. Top solutions are the shipping solutions you use the most, and sales channel represents your volume breakdown per store you've connected. Great, so all of these metrics are based on the time frame chosen above, correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so let's take a look at the last section here, which is the current status of shipments. Uh, we have a couple of statuses listed here. Tell us about this. Yes, so these graphs represent the current status of shipment that you've paid for during the time frame you picked. So this is very useful to follow the journey of a group of shipments. For example, out of all the shipments I paid for last month, I can see that 97 of them are in transit to my customer. Once the your shipment are delivered or cancelled, you will not see it anymore on this graph. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for being here and for walking us through the dashboard. So if you ever forget what anything means, you can hover your mouse over the information icon and you'll get a quick definition there. If not, you can also visit our support center at support.easyship.com and search for analytics for more information. Thanks and we'll see you soon.